to Tasker 101 Tutorials. This is lesson number 11. Uh, how to lock an app using Tasker. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a uh, sort of a lock screen, but a lock so that if someone tries to access a particular app that you don't want them to have access to, then uh, uh, a lock screen will show up and they have to enter the passcode. So this might be good if you have kids who use your phone, or, uh, you know, boyfriend or girlfriend, maybe there are certain apps you don't want them to see. I'm not going to uh, uh, guess on what the reasons might be, but people have them. So anyway, let's uh, get started. We're going to create a new profile, so I'm going to click the plus button. Of course, I'm going to start, I'm going to name it 101 something, but you don't have to. Let's call 101, call it 101 lock. And then I'm going to check mark, and we're going to say uh, application. And if you remember from a previous lesson, you can select as many of these as you want, and it would be applicable for anyone, for all of them. But we're just going to select one for demonstration purposes, and that's DocuSign Inc. It's uh, an app that I reviewed. And my Android app reviews allows you to put your signature on documents. So this is a good example of something you might want to make sure someone doesn't have access to who shouldn't have access to it. Um, if you had a really smart kid, they could use that to uh, sign their uh, their homework their, or their graded test. Uh, so let's uh, we're going to select that and we're going to select the done button. The course is going to immediately ask for what task. We're going to create a new task. And I'm going to say one, oh, one, uh, ch -ch -ch. let's call it app lock, or the reverse of the, of the profile name. So this is 101 app lock task. Click the check button, that'll take us into the task where we can add activities. I'm going to cl click the plus button. And we're going to go to, let's see, I think display, yeah, display, and then you see lock. Um, this is different than uh, the lock that's built into your phone. This is a special lock. So we're going to click lock. You can give it a title if you want to, uh, but there's really no need to do that. So I'm going to leave it blank code. I'm going to say uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 to make it easy. Um, now allow cancel. Remember, well I'll tell you this first, if you click allow cancel and that would allow the person to cancel that lock and return to your home screen. So we'll not allow them to access whatever it was that was blocked. It'll just return them to your home screen. Um, if you leave that unchecked then uh, once that lock is up, they can't escape that lock without entering the code. Um, so we'll click Allow Cancel so I can show you how that works. Um, if you want to know what these are, remember anytime you hit the question mark at the top, it'll give you an explanation of the different things, um, like the Remember Till Off button is selected, and a correctly entered password will be remembered and reused until the device enters sleep mode. So uh, that'd be cool if you, uh, you know, that way if you are using the app, once you enter the code, if you go out of it and go back into it, you won't have to re-enter the code. Only once you turn your screen off and your phone goes to sleep, then it gets turned back on, then it, you'd have to re-enter the code again. So that could be cool for that. Um, full screen, that's if you want to make sure the uh, uh, lock covers the entire screen so that they can't see the app or anything behind it. And if you want, you can choose uh, your own background image. We'll just leave it the standard. And uh, if you, of course, you can always include an if statement, but we're going to leave it like it is. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to click the Done button. And we're done with this. That's all we need to do. So we'll click Done. And we're good to go. Let's go back to uh, my home screen, 
and go into my apps and we're going to go to that particular app which is uh, ink Let's see. well it's called DocuSign Inc. maybe it's under these there we go DocuSign Inc. so I'm going to open that and you see it, it did start to open but once it started to open this padlock was launched by Tasker so it's completely covering the app and won't go away unless you enter the code now it does have the cancel button because remember we said we could allow that so see what happens if you cancel then it closes the app takes you back to your home screen if you try to go back into it then the box is going to appear again and if you want access you just enter the code one two three four and then click the check and now that lock screen goes away and you have access so uh, pretty cool yeah let's do one other quick thing um, just because I did mention you could do additional things so let's click on this and uh, besides that let's also add the gallery let's say we didn't want someone to have access to our photos maybe you got some photos in there that uh, might reveal where you were when you said you were going to be somewhere else who knows but so we're going to add the gallery to that so we'll go back and so now let's see what happens if you try to open the gallery app again the code pops up if you X out, then it's going to close, take you back to the home screen. Um, let's long press on the button, which of course pulls up uh, recent apps and try to launch it that way. The code still shows up. One, two, three, four. And now you have access. And uh, just remember that uh, there is that option in there. unlock there is an option remember till off and if you check that then we wouldn't have had to re-enter the code when we went back into something we've already gone into um, it would it would re-enter itself until your screen turned off and then you'd have to re-enter it so uh, it's a pretty pretty simple uh, lesson uh, in the next lesson which is going to be 11b I'm going to show you a few more things that kind of connect to this um, and also just show about securing Tasker in general. So come back for Lesson 11B. And that's it for this one. Uh, if you like this lesson, click the like button. Uh, share it with anyone you know who might be interested in, uh, you know, securing apps and things on their, on their phone using Tasker. Uh, you can do that through Google+, Facebook, and all those fun ways that are down there. And uh, subscribe to my channel. You can check out my Android app reviews, product reviews, and you can also favorite this playlist so that you can easily uh, keep up with new lessons that are added. Anyway, that's it until next time. So have fun with Tasker.